Hi, I'm Justin from Brisbane Yamaha. Just a quick walkthrough today. It's just delivering another one of these yellow fins. Um, it's a little bit different this time though. This is the center cab model and uh, I'm tipping that over the next couple of years this is going to become the go-to boat. I think it's going to take away from the market for the guys that want the all-round fish about for the center consoles and the fact that it actually has a cabin to get a small load or things away all-round fishability but without the uh, the blockages of having the full cabin when you go to the full cabin obviously it reduces the fishability of the boat this is actually the baby of the fleet this is our 6-2 walk around with the hard top cabin um, and this one's going to a guy named Sonny right up north in Queensland and uh, we think it's going to be just about perfect for him three small kids somewhere to get them out of there but an absolutely huge fishing platform, all in 6.2 metres. Um, I'll just show them the dash if you'd like, Dan, first, just because it's probably the easiest place. Having a lot of success with the big Garmin 125 SV, so we've included that in this one here. Yamaha land gauges, because the land gauges, again, give him the fuel management, the fuel control, also the trolling function, something a lot of guys forget to tell you. We've also got the Muir Freefall drum winch. That's just become standard these days. I think everybody likes the Muir. Um, and we've also gone zip wakes on this one as well. So these are the zip wakes with the auto leveling. Again, I think anyone with a, an aggressive hull with the deep V, you really should be looking at the zip wakes these days. They do everything for you. They make a bad driver look good. I even look like I know what I'm doing on the water and I don't. Yellow fin hat, just because we need a bit of product placement there for you for obvious reasons. Binnacle control, VHF is standard. And then we put all the switch gear and hide it all up top. Being zoned tough and glass means that we can still run a windscreen wiper and that will give him the ability to be out in all weather, all conditions and still come home. The downside to the center console is you can't. So that's why I'm thinking this one will become fairly popular fairly quickly. Um, and they do build this model all the way to 7.6 meters. As I said, this is just the baby at the moment. Being a platinum pack, we've also got the internal deck lights, the internal lighting, all of the things that you would assume. The dual batteries, uh, live bait tank, deck wash. Um, the only thing a little bit different on this one, of course, is the fact that on this one, having our own trim shop, we've actually just put a small clip-in carpet, completely removable, but we just found the carpet is a lot cooler on the feet than the rubber matting, and again, Sonny's got a few small kids that he wants to be able to protect, so what we've done is just a clip on carpet, minimal press studs to hold it in place. What that means is that we're able to just wash it, hang it over the clothesline, dry it out, throw it back in for the next trip, and it also means if he's going out with just two guys and stand up fishing, he can just leave the thing at home. Beautiful swing away backrest there, so it's a multiple angle one, obviously. A huge amount of storage in there. But this is what I think is gonna be the biggest seller, Dan, is our lockable cabin. And so what we've got, nice latch, all moves right open. Obviously not somewhere you can sleep. Having said that, we are looking at putting an infill cushion in that area as well for the next guy but you'd certainly get in there, you'd get out of, the, out of the way, you'd get out of the elements. That would protect your kids no, uh, no end at all. Um, and I think that would work an absolute treat. And I think that's something that the market's missing and hasn't had for a while, is a good, true walk around center cab boat. So fully lined so that it's nice and easy to get in there. You're not worried about marking it up. You're not worried about hot aluminum touching the skin. Massive window on the front and ventilation. And that locks away there. Close the lid and it's done. Beautiful big hatch again as well, just so that they've got ventilation on that. Full size hatch, swings up out the road, allows them to breathe. Um, Muir winch, Australian made, made here. Got the free fall model for him because, well, that's what you do. So chain, rope, and a Sarko anchor. Again, that's pretty well standard on anything Brisbane Yamaha does these days. Everyone will try and tell you that this anchor works, that anchor works. Just get a Sarko and save yourself a whole lot of time and effort. Sarko works beautifully. As I said, the windscreen wiper. Hard top's nice and clean as well. So you've got the windscreen wiper, zone tough and glass. No sliding glass because they've kept the cabin small, but the idea was protection. Insulated roof so that there's no heat issues. Folding rod rack across the back again. Aerial and white light up top. So what we've got here is, is the standard cutting board. Plenty of storage underneath there for your knives, your pliers, your bits and pieces. Drainable cups, nice cutting board. 
a little bit warm in the temperature with being black but gee it looks beautiful and a whole lot easier to keep clean than a white bait board um, I think we showed you but we do have the full size uh, live bait tank in there as well and they do put a full size one in there with the clear window allegedly it keeps the bait calm but I think if they knew what was coming probably wouldn't be so calm and in here full dual batteries as well and that's all just standard on a platinum pack uh, when you buy the yellow fin um, yeah just M70s is the way to go and it just does it beautifully for us you always want to be running dual batteries and then that's our swing away seat there so when you're facing backwards still plenty of fishing room would still be able to fish a full crew around here and be able to do so on the backs the standard Yamaha as you would expect the 150 one of my favorites because it's just so reliable uh, with Yamaha reliability starts here that's our motto and it's the truth if you want an outboard that's going to get you back every time you need to get to the Yamaha hydraulic steering as you would expect burly bucket all the niceties the little things just so that it's a complete package and so this one's leaving as I said with the 12 inch sounder electric anchor winch transom door dive ladder absolutely everything show them the ladder too Dan that's a mighty job that they've done on that so as you can see we're fairly excited about them we think this is going to be the new thing everyone's going to be buying a center cab it gives you the practicality in a lock-up cabin to be able to get out of the elements but gives you full fish ability so give us a ring or anyone on the team give Brisbane Yamaha a call or an online email with us come on down let's go for a ride in a boat and you'll see why we're all excited about the yellow fin brand